Hello and welcome to Bad Deck Monday. Uh, welcome back. Obviously, last week we played uh, Duo Blade and uh, we live streamed it. It wasn't uh, uh, it wasn't it wasn't the best. Let's let's put it that way. And so I, I kind of like was wondering what to what what to do this week. And I have to uh, I have to give credit where credit due. Um, there is a player that I met in uh, Loughborough long, uh, quite 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 some time ago, and uh, we remained in touch and we've seen each other at um, uh, lots of lots of local tournaments. And uh, it's Thomas Graham. And um, one of the things that uh, that 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 struck me about uh, Thomas is that. Um, his uh, his tenacity with sticking with the deck and seeing it through, and I think it's a I think it's a, a remarkable trait for for any player. So, Thomas, this one uh, th th this video is definitely definitely dedicated to uh, to you. Um, now, Thomas and I were chatting last night, and we were starting to think about um, uh, his his signature deck, which is uh, Raticate Break, and. Uh, <laughs> That's what it is, right? Radigate Break uh, isn't necessarily uh, at the top of anyone's uh, wish list. Uh, let's put it that way. It's it's very much seen to be um, uh, um, uh, not viable at all. But uh, let's just have a look at it. I mean, uh, now... Ratata uh, obviously evolves uh, to Raticate. Let's have a look at the Ratata. Unfortunately, it's got 40 HP, so if it's going to be around... You don't want it to be uh, sticking around for very long. So this this uh, this is definitely a deck that is prone to donk. So you have to do everything that you can in to, uh, to try and make sure that um, uh, you 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 have uh, some sort of turn two, so to speak. Ratata, poor thing. Mischievous Fang does help. Um, it can it can uh, remove tools, but uh, you, you don't you don't really find that to be of much use at all whatsoever. I I, I don't know I don't know, but um, Pokemon uh, Choice Band isn't really um, isn't really a worry. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt isn't really a worry uh, in this deck. Um, Raticate. Okay, so you want to try and evolve it to Raticate as quickly as possible. Now this is a, a free retreat Raticate, and the reason why I like. Uh, this Raticate, even though the older version of this deck actually played uh, Ariados, uh, was that um, this has a free retreat. So it's it's actually really nice. And at a push, if you need to do um, some sort of status effect which attacks for that extra 10, you've got Dirty Shock. So your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Discard all Pokemon tools attached to that Pokemon. So... That's fair enough. Um, can't be confused, so that might be really useful against something like uh, Espeon if it uh, if it sticks around. But um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the one that I really do prefer is the 60 HP Raticate. Um, oh, I really love this deck. Um, this is actually really smart against um, decks like uh, Decidueye. So what you can do is that you can actually uh, discard their double colorless energies using sh um, using crunch, uh, really slow them down, and uh, theoretically you could actually do shadowy bite for 240, which is not too much to be sniffed at considering it's eradicate. The Raticate Break is a uh, double colorless attack. Super Fang put damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. So you can actually see that this is actually really devastating. It's great against GX attacks, but you need something to do that final 10. Now, uh, Thomas and I were discussing it. Now, his previous build had uh, Poison Barb, and I think, you know, you know Poison Barb, that can be feel blowered now. Um, your opponent's just not going to attack. They're just going to do something to try and remove that. And then uh, I saw that his build contained Salazzle. So uh, this this is, um, uh, you know, okay, right. Salandit just has Venoshock. If your opponent's Pokemon is poison, it does 40 damage. I'm not really, not really going to be attacking with that whatsoever. Hot Poison, however. Uh, now, I've said in a, f a few other videos, uh, when we were opening up the uh, Guardians Rising boxes, I brought up the Salazzle and I said, well, you know, I'd be very surprised if this actually does keep play. And uh, then a couple of videos later, I thought, well, actually, you know, it might actually see play, so I might take it back. Okay, right. I am, I am now completely convinced that Salazzle has a place in the meta game. <laughs> okay? 
Um, in this deck, in this deck, Hot Poison, po play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn. You may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burnt or poison. They can get round poison sometimes. Sometimes they can with things like Chaos, Chaos Tower, I think it is. Chaos Tower. Uh, but to get rid of burn, now that's an automatic two. And they have to flip. So even if they flip and they survive, they have to then take the poison that can actually be really effective because if you've got a grass weak pokemon like lorantis you could do flamethrower for 90 times 2 is 180 plus 3 from the status you've got 210 you can actually knock out lorantis so that's that's an interesting one but salazzo is mainly used for hot poison now in order to do hot poison consistently, you have to be able to use devolution spray. So uh, one of the things I need to try and watch when I'm doing these uh, playtesting is to make sure that I don't leave Salazzle out. Now, uh, I did try and work around it so that I couldn't, I, I, I didn't need to do anything like uh, Drampa. Uh, Drampa is is there just for big wheel that's that's the only reason why it's there for big wheel plus maybe to soften something up righteous edge maybe to counter giratina ex i don't know all right it's just there it's just there all right okay so those are the pokemon uh we have four level ball uh two pokemon catcher because i actually want to break winona in this now four is probably a bit too much but uh you need it when you have that first hand you really need it uh two rescue stretcher one special charge could float up to two who knows town map absolutely essential because you're using uh double colorless energy three ultra ball because you've got the four level ball uh, for VS Seeker, and I've just upped the N to 3. I wasn't actually playing uh, N, I was actually playing Random Receiver, but I just thought, you know, for the stream. 4 N, 3, uh, 4 Sycamore, 3 N, 4 Winona. You know, let's see how it goes. One Floatstone, just for giggles. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's play with that. See you in a moment. Rams 9K. Uh, we're gonna call it tails So uh, apologies rev 9k um, If this turns out to be completely bad, I just happened to start off with the drumper And we also start off with the salan salandit So ideally I would want to be getting oh and this looks like an oh this looks like a metagross okay um ideally what i would want to do is i'd want to get the uh get the raticate going so with a ratata and a ratata that would do no energy though bit of a problem okay so his his deck operates on I'm going to be drawing as many cards as possible and I'm going to have a massive hand and I'm going to have lots and lots of damage as a result of it. And that's his strategy. So he's just going to be collecting. Oh, wow. Okay, so Jirachi in there. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Precognitive stream. Draw three cards. So effectively, it's like a, it's like a very sleepy um, Lepras. Okay, let's get that. We've got three level balls in our starting hand. It's not very good, is it? Uh, let's get another one. And we should now be able to pass. So, no Sycamore, no N. We're, we're waiting. No energy. Not even a single energy. Wowzers. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a little problematic with Parallel City. Is it anyway? Do I have a delinquent? I'm not sure. Don't think I have a delinquent. Interestingly, he got rid of Chaos Tower. I'm not quite sure what's going on. 
Hmm. I do see a special energy there. So, manage to get... Um, manage to get an N. Okay, right. Do I end him now? I'm gonna like to. Let's catch him. No? Okay. Let's pop the first in there and let's end. Okie dokie. Uh, we have a potential, but still no energy. Been through 24 cards of the deck without any energy. That's um, it's quite rare. So he's setting up his bench to Belden. Right, okay, so we do have a Raticate break now. Um, do we want to... Yes, I think we do want to take down his active Natang. And if we manage to get the double colorless, we would be able to knock it out. Which indeed we do. Let's Devo spray the Salazzle just for the next turn. We've got we've also got the Racket Break. We're going to attach the double colorless. And we are pretty much good to go with Super Fang. We draw our first prize. Very, very useful to have that uh, double colorless in hand as well. So the Salazzle will come out. The Parallel City is not very helpful at the moment. Uh, the reason being that. I need to get something knocked out. Um, well, let's do it again. And attach a double colorless. Super Fang. By Jirachi. We're literally getting a knockout every single turn. Then. What I'd like to find is a Devo Spray or some way of getting a Devo Spray, but I get a Fire Energy. So, he's Fire Weak. I could do a preemptive Fire on a Salazzle, which would then knock out his Metagross. Or I could do a Big Wheel if I get knocked out, which I probably will get knocked out now with I think it's machine gun stomp. So machine gun stomp will do 20 plus 7 20 plus 70 which is 90. The raticate break may survive. Oh so he goes up to nine cards, so that's that's now being knocked out. Right, okay, so I do have a chance of getting something else up now. Um what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to load up the Salazzle.
feel as if I feel as if uh, well I'm, I'm mm, did I really want us to load up the Salazzle uh, no I wanted to big wheel it um, okay right let's let's just get lots and lots of rats in mid -air. because what I really want to do is I want to get something that empties the hand the problem is that um, the problem is that I don't have a way of burning him and I want a way of burning him next turn so let's get the sun and it and bench that Absorb a bit of a hit with with um, the Dramper active. And if things do go wrong, then I can hit him with Flamethrower. I think in retrospect, I should have loaded up the uh, the energy on the Dramper for Big Wheel. So... Is he going to get the sun out of Ah, he's got the sun out Got the sun and it. Which is a shame. Oh, but I managed to get the double colorless. A retreat. Pop the ratata down. Oh, might as well might as well discard the choice band. Um and do flamethrower. Discarding the fire energy. Excellent. Get the BS Seeker. So maybe I do need to have some sort of counter counter to Parallel City and that kind of thing. But I seem to be managing okay. So the interesting thing is that the the counters, the placing of damage counters uh, ignores Lucky Helmet. So Lucky Helmet is uh, activated when damage is done. So I'm doing okay, I'm keeping up with the prizes. I would like to end him. Um, raticate. Raticate, maybe. Okay, right. Let's. Yes, he can end. Play the end. So play the end, and uh, we're, we're looking for an energy. Wow. Now, do I want to play that energy now? Um, arguably not. I do have a Devo Spray, so I could, if I was able to get a prize right now. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to the Dramper. I played special charge. I don't think I've played special charge, and it's not in the discard. So I really would like to use big wheel. Um, I've got two raticators. Got one, two raticates, and a raticate break. 
probably probably need the raticate break out of 20 so i think i'm going to rescue that back pop that in my hand there we go bring it bring the retreat so yeah even though i can't use that i didn't really want to attack again and then dump another energy i would much rather big wheel my options and draw half my deck and the reason being that i need the devo sprays as well which is the right option because i've got everything that i need now Two in the discard pile. So they go back in the deck. Devo spray. The Salazzle. Um, pop the Raticate up. And then, do I avoid Righteous Edge? I think I'm going to avoid Righteous Edge. Um, what's this? Okay, right. This is the promo version of um, that Jirachi. What would be ideal would be <clears throat> for me to uh, Lysander something up, but I don't play Lysander. Could Lysander up that Oranguru and just keep it stuck in the active. Um, that Parallel City has been really annoying me. So I'm going to preload up with... that retreat and then dirty shocking which will not activate his uh lucky helmet and i get rid of his lucky helmet as well which is really nice let's see what he does Devo spray as the prize would be useful. Oh, that is really interesting. So he's actually expanded my my hand with Chaos Tower. That's not going to help him. So he can't be poisoned. But he could be burnt, which is why Salazzle is so awesome. And um, I think with the free retreat, I'm going to retreat or the Super Fang. The other thing that I could do is I could attach an energy, which I'm going to do. Um, I do feel as if I should N at this stage. Which is what I'm going to do. Now, although my slazzles go... <laughs> they just come back. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was not fair. Here we go. So what to get as a prize? I think Devo Spray. So he's doing a maximum of 60, unless he starts attacking with something like Bullet Punch. Card press. In actual fact, if he's stuck with uh, Metang, he, well, he would have done 90 if he got two heads. Machine Stomp now does, okay, 80. Ok, 
Okay, so smuzzle, 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 everything. That's a silent bit. Smuzzle. There we go. Let's retreat. Do we retreat? No, let's not retreat. I was thinking of retreating because um, I would have something with damage on on the bench. Um, but let's let's just super fang. Should have devoted sprayed. I should have done that. But um, let's not worry about that just yet. But uh, yeah, I should have devoted sprayed. So I've got two energy, three in place. I don't have any other fire energy in the play. I'm going to keep that double colourless just in case he Lysander's something out. He might deck himself out at this stage. There is a Salander in the prizes. Oops. Okay. So we'll pop the drum power up. So yeah, I would have got the game had I remembered what to do. Um Um I am coming to Noble. Nothing valid. Okay. Um. And I'm just going to Berserk. So if I didn't retreat that Raticate, I would have been able to have a free retreat Raticate with damage. Uh, but that's just hindsight. And if I used the Devo Spray, I would have been able to land the uh, the hit. So... But it doesn't matter. I think I've got this next turn anyway. That's not fair, is it? He still only does 80. Well played. I could have had it last turn. But I got away with it. And there you go. Super duper. Alright, we'll be back uh, very shortly. Uh, we'll have one more game. Don't go away. Okay, uh, I've just done a quick uh, quick edit on the uh, Raticate Slazzle deck. So I just altered the trainers up a little bit. Um, put a paint roller in just to try and get rid of any uh, annoying stadiums. Um, I took down the end down to three. Um, I believe, no, actually, I took down the uh, Winona down to three. Um, uh, energy stayed exactly the same. I just put the Lysander uh, up to one and kept the uh, catcher in, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's play ahead. So uh, that was just in response, really, to uh, stadiums, and I would like to have secured the um, the Lysander. Maybe just a lone Lysander might actually have been um, 
uh, useful. I know it's bad deck Monday. It shouldn't be that bad. But we got we got the victory anyway. And let's see how uh, how this one goes. Tight Owl, three, four, five, possibly. Wow. Um, hmm. Grass Psychic. What could it be? Uh, we don't have any basic whatsoever. Grass and Psychic. I do wonder what it could be. So again, yeah, we have two mulligans now. Oh, no, we actually do manage to start off with the Salazzle. So if they've got Grass, could the Salandit did I say Salazzle? I meant Salandit. Um, could the Salandit be key? I think uh, N would be ideal. Oh, it's a full Mantis. Right, okay. So let's touch that there. And N. Okay, this has the potential to absolutely maim us. We'll put the Salandits down. Um, I don't think there's really any way in which we can actually poison them, um, but Salazzle 90 going up to 180 with Flamethrower is cute. It is cute. Uh, but I will be going for uh, Winona next. I'll ideally be getting uh, two Rastas and a Raticate. Okay, so my opponent has fan club. Okay, right. So this um, <laughs> this opponent means business. Although I do wonder, do wonder if I will have a chance at getting the Tapu Bulu. Now Tapu Bulu doesn't have a weakness. Doesn't have a fire weakness. Okay. Synthesis is just so, so incredible. Okay, right. Okay, right, so I'm gonna go for the winner now. Let's get another rat to a raticate with free retreat. And and I'm going to get an... Oh, I can't get a Winona. Don't have the energies, unfortunately. So... I'm just going to keep it to basics. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to keep it to non EX. Um, non EX Pokemon, they're scratching. Now, that extra 20 may make a huge difference because now it's uh, it's down to 190 for the uh, Lurantis. But I don't think the Salander is going to survive for much longer. And in any case, um, Lorantis can heal itself, so. Oh, okay, right. Well, that could have been worse. That could have been worse. Could have been worse. So, all right, okay. Unfortunately, we don't have the Slazzle. Um, that's the Raticate. We do have a chance to get the Raticate here. So I should have said the Raticate break. Do have a chance to get the Raticate here.
Okay, right. If we do manage to get the Salazzle, we will knock out his Laurentis. Oh my gosh, I managed to get it. Okay. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to float stone the sun and it. Treat it. I am going to pop that on there. Poison and burn him. And then Thing. Bye bye, Lorantis. Now we just need to do that for the Tapabulu, and we might have the game. So it's all about are we able to get the Raticate Break? Nature's Judgment will knock out. The Tapu Bulu. No, Nature Judgment will knock out, I should say. The Raticate Break. So it's down to us getting a Raticate Break. If we get the Raticate Break, we take out the Tapu Bulu. There is a very strong chance that we will get the Raticate Break now. So let's play that there. Special charge that double colorless because we will need a, th a third attacker. Okay, right, let's go for it. Even a rescue stretcher will help. <gasps> we manage it. Okay, uh, let's retreat for the Raticate, and then Devo spray our Salazzle back into our hand. Oh, I think he's conceding very soon. I don't think I would want to. I don't think I would want to. Um, I do. I do want to rescue stretcher that back in because I know. I think I've only got one break. Um, I'm going to play the. Play these out. Play these back in hand because I would like to set up the Winona next turn as well. Um, I'm not going to need the. Second Ultra Ball and the N. So I'm going to be playing with Nona next turn. So I can get the Raticate Break. So I do have two Raticate Breaks in. And we are good to go. And now he's just left with two Formantis. And at this stage, I want him to evolve. I really, really want him to evolve now. He's hoping that I can't retreat. So 
sunny day. Never forget that. Twenty. Okay. Oh wow. I think I have it. I think I've got it. So that's all. that there. Let's retreat. Should we try it? <laughs> we even hit the heads on Tapu Booly. <gasps> oh, why did I do that? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I would have got it. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm such a prat. <laughs> why did I do that? Oh, how embarrassing I would have got it. I don't know why. Forgive me. I was just showing off. I was just showing off. He's now going to think I'm teasing with him. I'm playing now. Alright, okay. Let's just do this. Why on earth did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I really am sorry. Honestly. I really am sorry. I would have had that in me. Obviously. I don't deserve this at all. Right. Uh, let's put out the Salazzle with the Plate Stone. Get a double colourless. An N. A Salandit. Alright. So the Salandit can go. Alright, we'll, we'll try again. Okay. We'll, tr we'll try again. Don't deserve it at all. Try again. The other thing is that I could actually get a double gunless and knock him out, but that's going to be quite interesting. How many double gunless do I have? Three. Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, big wheel. You know what? I show off too much sometimes. Please just knock me out so I can Lysander you. Oh, he's gonna end me. Please, top deck, Lysander. <sighs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, it's going to be on a catcher flip. I don't even have the... Um, I don't even have the energy either. Oh, I don't deserve this. I do not deserve this. Oh my god. Uh, I'm terrified now. Yes, I even take off the plate stain. I can't believe that. Just, just do ten. <laughs> oh dear. That was a close one. I really am sorry. I really do apologize. Okay. It's what you would call a non-optimal play. But there you go. <laughs> I didn't decide that at all. Um, okay, right. So, uh, I, I'm going to cut and run. Because I just simply didn't deserve that at all. Um, uh, just in case, just in case people might be wondering about my suboptimal plays, um, it is it is actually the uh, the Muslim fast of uh, uh, Muslim month of fasting, <laughs> Muslim fast of month thing apparently, and so I, I clearly uh, cannot think at all. Um, so just a little bit about that. Uh, basically, for about a month, what we do is uh, we abstain from uh, food and drink during daylight hours. So the last time I ate was at, and drank was actually around about uh, one o'clock in the morning. It is now 5.30 in the afternoon, so, um, you know, 16 hours uh, is obviously uh, the reason why I'm not going to be playing at regionals in Birmingham. But uh, I do apologise for those suboptimal plays. Uh, that had nothing to do with food. That was just me showing off and, and getting the catch and flip anyway. But, um, hey, there you go, you know, that's, that's, that's me getting heads. Right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> what a giggle. What a giggle of a day. Uh, shout out to... Um, <laughs> shout, out. shout out to Thomas. Uh, it, you have fun with this deck. I, I'm, I'm sure um, this is the direction that you want to take it in. And uh, uh, just to just to let you guys know, uh, so it's easy to to refer to. That's the deck list that I'm using. Um, terrible, isn't it? Uh, bad deck Monday. Uh, like, subscribe, share. Please don't put a thumbs down just because I actually did the capture. I do apologise for that. Please don't give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up because I think it's good.